Believe it or not, this voice was just built by an AI and this is not my own voice. Alright, we will start by going to descript.com slash overdub. You will see all the information you need to know about overdub here. And like any other tools these days, you will need to sign up. I already did using my Google account. And once signed in, the download will automatically start. The installer is 156 megabyte in size. Descript is available for download on Windows and Mac OS. Nothing for phones platforms yet, but hopefully they will create it soon. After downloading, you can now install Descript. This is just a regular, normal installation process. Nothing special here. Okay. We are now in the app. At first use you will be asked to describe where would you use Descript. Then it will let you create a cloud drive where your projects will be stored. You can name your drive and select the team size using Descript. I'll choose just me here. Then you can invite more people to try Descript. I'll just ignore this part and continue. Then you need to choose what types of media you plan to create on Descript. You can also have an option to open a tutorial project here to learn more about how to use Descript. Before we move further, let's first go through the pricing of Descript. It has four packages, for Creator, Pro, a customizable enterprise, and a free version. You can see the price in the screen. You can see the comparison on each packages here. Personally, I think the free version is generous enough and very usable. Being a low-budget YouTube channel here, with basically no budget at all, we will only focus on the free version on this video. And we will also only focus on one part of Descript in this video, which is the overdub. Overdub is the tool on Descript that can study your voice and then produce a text-to-speech audio file based on your own voice or any voice that you trained it with. Later, I'll be showing you how to train Overdub to recognize my voice and then we will use it for text-to-speech. Spoiler alert, this tool is really scary good. Descript is an independent audio and video editing platform which was founded last 2017 by former Grappen CEO Andrew Mason. It has raised a total of $100 million in a Series C round, led by the OpenAI Startup Fund, a tranche through which OpenAI and its partners, including Microsoft, are investing in early-stage companies. You can also see the names of the individual investors in this screen. Descript Base Office is located at San Francisco, California in the US. Alright. Let's go back to the Descript app. We have the main navigation here on the left side menu. But we are not going through all of them as we are only concentrating on the voices for this one. I'll create a separate video on the Descript usage, but that is not this video yet. First thing we need to do is to train Descript over dub to recognize our voice. I have actually prepared a bunch of recording here from my old YouTube videos, which I will feed to Descript over dub and let it analyze and gather data for my voice. In the Descript UI, we will select Create New Voice. You can name it to whatever name you want. And then confirm. Now we will upload or just simply drag and drop the audio file here. The audio file, of course, is the one containing the voice that you want to use for the customized text-to-speech. Overdub will then generate a transcription for the audio file uploaded. You can then play this and then correct the transcription if you find anything wrong, misunderstood, or misspelled by the AI. These transcription data is very important, especially for text-to-speech, so that it can generate accurate speech for the text inputs that you'll feed it later. Make sure that the audio file that you upload here is at least 10 minutes in length. But I recommend longer audio files. The longer the audio file, the better, since the AI will have more data to work on, and it will recognize more words, more accents, and more pitch data of your voice. So what I did here is stitch a bunch of audio files with my voice using Audacity, which is what I uploaded to Descript over Dub for training. Now we just click the submit training data here. Then we will need to record our voice ID, basically an agreement that you are giving Descript permission to deepfake your voice. Just hit the record button and read the statement. I hereby verify that I currently speaking and that I'd like the script to create an overdub version of my voice. I understand that this overdub voice can be used to create speech that sounds like my voice. Okay. Now we can submit for voice training and analysis. This training and analysis will take between 2 to 24 hours to finish. And Descript will send an email once it's done. On my experience, this usually takes about 14 hours or more, so don't lose sleep on it. It will take a while. Okay. After about 16 hours or so, I finally got the email notification that my new voice is ready. Descript is nice enough to add an animated GIF here to show you how you can use the voice. Let's go to the Descript app to have a try at it. Alright. So under the voices here, we should now see the newly create voice, which is based on my voice. We can now use this as the project, and it will generate voice that sounds just like mine. 
You can also open this voice data, then you can review the data further. You can also add more audio recording of your voice here, then do another training session to make the voice more accurate sounding from the original. To use the voice, let's create a new audio project. From here, we can set the project name. Then you can choose an audio file to transcribe, record your voice, start from a template, or just simply start writing, which is what I'll choose. Then we can type in the things that you want to say. Just typing something here for testing purposes. I'm really excited to hear this AI-generated voice that should sound just like my voice. Okay. By default, this is on speaker. We should just click that, then let's select the voice we created which is Ribby Trivia Host. Once we select that, it will not immediately play the voice. Give it time to download the information and convert these text into a voice. A good indicator if the audio is ready is by looking at the timeline. If you see the audio waves, that means that part is good. But for the parts where you can only see green blocks, that is still downloading. Okay. I think the whole thing is ready now. Let's have a listen. Let's click play. Jibber everyone, this is my voice, but it is actually not. I am using this Jibber tool called the script, which I trained to applesauce my voice. Now, I can just type in the things that I want to say, and the script disappointment will gibber this text to my voice. No need to record myself Jibber. Great, right? Oh my god. Wow. The sounds exactly like me. Wow. Just wow. You might notice that there are words that has been replaced by the word gibber. That is because the free version is only limited to 1001 words from its free vocabulary. So, some words that are not included in that 1001 words will be replaced by the gibber jabber words. You will need to subscribe to the paid version to remove this limitation, which is 30 US dollars a month. To get more information about this gibber jabber words from the landing page of descript.com, you can go to the resources menu, then click on help and support. Then search for the word gibber. In the search result, you should be able to see an article for overdub vocabulary and jibber jabber. Open that article, and from here you will see the list of all the 1001 words that you can use, which will not be replaced by a jibber jabber words. I counted these list of words by the way, and this is actually 1095 words. Using this list as a reference, I was able to create a whole sentence without a jibber jabber replacement by using only the allowed words. Here it is. Believe it or not, this voice was just built by an AI, and this is not my own voice. I just need to get creative on that AI part, since it will not pronounce it properly without that comma. I still can't get over the fact that this AI tool has perfectly copied my voice. I mean, that sounds exactly my voice. Wow. To export the audio project to an audio file. Just click Publish menu from the top right corner. Then go to the export tab, from here you can set the properties of the file to export it, like the quality, where you can also select the file format. I'll choose mp3 here. You can also add metadata for the exported file. Then just click the export button, select the location and file name, and you're done. Let's open the exported mp3 file. Chibber everyone, this is my voice, but it is actually not. I am using this AI tool called the script which I jabber to recognize my voice. Now, I can just type in the things that I want to say, and the script overdub will jibber this text to my voice. No need to record myself anymore. Great, right? Just for comparison, I also recorded the same statement using my actual voice. Let's play Hi this. Hi everyone, this is my voice, but it is actually not. I am using this AI tool called Descript, which I trained to recognize my voice. Now, I can just type in the things that I want to say, and the script overdub will convert this text to my voice. No need to record myself anymore. Great, right? Did you notice any difference? For me, aside from the pronunciation of some words, I can't really tell the difference. Which is literally creepy and scary. As what I'm always saying when doing a video with AI topic, please always be responsible, and never use this tool for any wrongdoings and any negative things. Let's just use it to improve our lives. Personally, I plan to use Descript Overdub for my YouTube videos. Instead of recording my voice manually, I can just utilize text-to-speech for my own voice, making my life easier. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nova Air.